vas je star borača. Evo ra. A ovo je bova migo. Oče, oče. Ja ga je te pranavim, ga je te pranavim! Ja 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 ga It didn't seem dangerous at all. Gracias, Coco. Do you have crazy stories from Tepito? I got shot on the right, right here. Man. You got shot. I got shot right here. The bullet I got right here. Yes, sir. And I can find a boxing match there. I'll, I'll go box. Viva Tepito. <laughs> oh, pineapple. They own a mezcaleria, a mezcal shop. To my new amigos. Vi Viva Tapito! It's amigos. Amigos, friends. Everyone in Tepito is amigos, is friends. So from what I reckon, Tepito is the black market capital of Mexico and there's a lot of legal activity going down there. So if you run with that scene, yeah, it's dangerous. But if you're going there as a bystander, maybe someone who wants to shop, get some black market deals, you know, I think all you're at risk of is like petty crime, like pickpocketing, maybe you could get mugged. I don't know, it seems pretty chill to me. So today I'm going again, I'm bringing some of my hostel mates and I'm excited to go to one of my most favorite neighborhoods in Mexico City, Tapito. Mexico City is popping off again. It's so busy everywhere. And today is Ludwig's first day in the city. First day in Mexico and first day in Latin America. And I'm bringing him to Tepito. Do you, do you know what you're gonna expect going to Tepito? I'm, I'm starstruck by this place. Uh, I have no idea what I'm expecting. I'm prepared for the rough as possible. <laughs> the rough as possible, I love that. Yeah, you guys ever been to Tulum yeah. Yeah. or Cancun? It's like, Tepito's like that, but better. It's, ba it's basically like the next Tulum. Tepico. Tepito. Where's that at? It's where we're going. That's <laughs> <laughs> where we're going. Wait, you don't believe me? No, I believe you. I thought, you, I thought it was like a place with... No, I'm about... I'm it about, be a place with a beach or something. If it's, uh, I mean, it doesn't even have a beach, but it, it, it has ladies. <laughs> it has... It has, it has beer, it's just as good. The peche. The peche, amigo. What is the peche? The peche de piña, amigo. Piña is fermented. Fermentado. Fermentado. Si. Sí. Okay, si. Sí. Quanto para... Este uh, es de 15 a 25 litros, aquí. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Solo quiero uh, 15. Y, uh, 15. Yeah, you want one? Actually, uh, yeah, do, do, dos quince. Solo tengo uh, dos cien. Tienes cambio? Yes. yes. What is it anyway? It's fermented pineapple. It's really good. I tried it before. No, no, no. It's not alcoholic. It's just fermented. Fermented pineapple. Fermented alcohol. Fermented alcohol. Whoa, it's busy. We're gonna get ran over. Oh, this is, this is getting as... Uh, as rough as I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you could handle rougher? It gets rougher. Dude, we're gonna get into the thick of things, dog. We might need to get a beer. The elixir of heaven. The elixir. Pineapple, pineapple elixir. Oh, look, Cameroon. You wanna eat shrimp from a street vendor? No, no puedes fermar aquí? Okay, okay. yeah, muchas gracias. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no, yeah, there's a warning card. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, uh, that whistle, if you can hear it now, is basically the authorities are coming and they have to retreat. But what just happened before? It's wild, eh? It's crazy, right? But basically what happened before is the guy, he told me to stop filming, he made me delete the video. And of course I recovered it. But it's so weird, I've never had that happen here. And I guess it's not legal to vend here. So I guess that's what they were warning. There's uh, the authorities walking down the street, ready to f*** it up. Someone needs to explain that whole concept to me. Like, are some of the stalls legal? Are some of them not registered and they can't be here? 
Mexico City Locos, please tell me. Two. Are you sure it's real bows? Yeah, it could be, it could be not, but they work. But they work fine. No, look. 200 pesos. Yeah. Wow. That's like 10 bucks. So these guys are famous, apparently. Están este, grabando este, un grupo de, de, de Pepito que se está haciendo famoso. Y famoso. son de ¿Por, ¿Por qué ellos famosos? Porque es el, ahora sí que él nació aquí, se está subiendo de un categoría. ¿Tú haces este? ¿Haces? No. no. Es, es bonito. Sí. Wow. Good stuff. So basically what happened next is these people up ahead, they noticed I was filming and they pointed me out and then a group of dudes completely surrounded me and made me delete the video. So I was completely over it this time around. But there is one thing that might be able to turn this video around. Last time I was in Tepito, it was absolutely lit. I was having such a great time. This time, for some reason, people just hate me. Because I'm a gross looking gringo. So we're gonna head out of here, but I need one more thing before we leave. I reckon it's drinking time. Time for, time for a drink? Time for a drink? Yeah, I've got a drink. Okay, bros. Gracias. First day of holidays, we're drinking in Tepito. How extra is this? It's spicy, I have a on the drink. Wow. It's quite different from German beer, right? A little bit. Homie's like, tequila shots. He saw tequila, first day in Mexico, and he's like, we need it. We need tequila. Uh, what, what is a good tequila? I don't want this, like, the crap. No sé. Jose Cuervo. Yeah. ¿Qué tequila tienes? Solo Jose Cuervo? Okay, sí. Ah, no, no necesito un mesa. Solo un shot y va. Gracias. ¿Vives un tiempito? Sí. ¿Cómo es aquí? Algo pesadito. ¿Perdón? Algo pesado. Algo pesado. ¿Sí? ¿Es para aquí? Sí. Ah, huevo. ¿Así solo? ¿Hola? Poquito más. Gracias. Sí. Bueno. Queremos estar borracho ahora. A huevo, amigo. Ok. Muchas gracias, amigo. No necesito. Ah, no. 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 Take a shot at. Facebook? 
The boat is called Mamalones. Shout out Mamalones. And it's Mamalones because she is Mamalones. And she has two kids. And they both work here with her. That's her kids. Well she pours us tequila. Look at look at the size of these shots. Holy shot. section at first I was bummed on Tapita but now that we got the tequila flowing I say uh, we got more into this we, we keep exploring once again Germany's like let's go down this alley let's see what's down here and we find uh, houses and uh, shrines to Jesus and we have roof dogs Roof Dogs of Mexico. Do you have any sins to confess? Too many for this little altar. <laughs> you know, I, I, would, I would flood this courtyard with my sins. You, you need Vatican City. Exactly. Yeah. This doesn't cut it. No. Well, and, uh, I must say, like, the, the dog is distressing me just a little bit. <laughs> hey, you be quiet. We're trying to confess our sins. We're, we're communicating with Jesus. Be quiet. We're trying to confess. I, con I can't hear Jesus talking. My God. Look, we're in Tepito. We commit a lot of sins in Tepito. You have to be quiet. Hola, gatitos. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. You're a goose. You're a goose little cat. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué tienes? ¿Qué tienes? ¿Porno? Ajá. Este porno. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Para ver? Brazos. Brazos. Ah, me gusta mucho. Okay. A web. Are you tender? Huh? Yeah. A web boy. Let's try to join. You wanna join? You want to join? I don't know how this works. Let's, let's You've never played air play. hockey? No, let's. Really? You go challenge someone. Come on. I film it. Does, does this come with like an emotional attack? Listen, to listen, you? listen. After okay. all the bullshit Woo! today yeah. in Tapito, I just want to get so drunk that I forget. Okay. And, we, and we just we just pass out on let's, the. Let's please not talk about hockey again. It seems to be like a Canadian trauma. I don't know. <laughs> hey, thanks for bringing me uh, to this later. Uh, yeah, it's, it's real. Yeah. It's really improving. Yeah. Uh, hola, tres coronas? Litros. Where are you from? Canada. Oh, welcome to Mexico. Gracias. Vives on Tepito? Yes. I, I, wow. I live in Houston, Texas. 
I'm saying you two have uh, both have dyed hair. Yeah. And I'm wondering what's the story behind this. Like, uh, blondes have more fun. Brunettes get Ooh. done. Right. I'm in Mexico, yeah. and all I do is make YouTube videos, so I'm trying to have fun. All right. Same with you, right? Yeah. Blondes have more fun, my dog. But but listen, listen, listen. I should get my hair dyed today. You are. It's fun to start from today. Why the fuck is there like some disgusting uh, synthetic stuff on the fringe again? Get it. Bro, that's just how they do things here. Don't be culturally insensitive. Because I have this on. This is sweet and blue. It's, uh, it's poison. It's <laughs> beer, yeah? It's super long. Sweet. It's beer? Ah, okay, God. Just drink it, dude. This is like fucking beer culture. I don't know, but I'm I'm totally up for that. Whatever. Put put chewing gum on my beer. It's fine. <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Yo, yeah. put chewing gum. On. This is ridiculous, like, what the f*** is this? Whoa! Frankly, I like the chewing gum on my beer. And there's the rest of your 40. Salute! Let me take your chewing gum. This is disgusting. I mean, did like an alien s*** on my beer, I don't know. I love I love chewing gum beer. Mr. Germany over here. Yeah, I don't. It's, uh, I mean, it's funny. Yeah. He doesn't like the chewing gum beer, but for me, I'm down. Let's go. So Mr. Germany was like, "Hey, in Berlin, we could take these to go. Why don't we take these to go?" And I'm and like, "Oh, get It's normal in Berlin. You call it big beer, which means uh, be on the way. Be on the way. We never. Uh, big beer? We never walk anywhere at night without a beer. In no, our no. Hands. Tell me how you say that one more time. Vic beer. Vic beer. Vic beer means. Vic uh, beer. It literally means way beer. So okay, so journey beer. Journey beer. Journey beer or on the way beer is Vic beer in Berlin, and that means to take a beer on the road with you. And that is exactly what we're doing. We're sitting down at the table, and then, uh, Senor. Germany over here says, why don't we just take these to go? And I'm like, well, let me ask. So, yeah, and this is we're, the moment where everything right, went completely south. And, um, basically, we have two things we need to do. One, I need to find a Tepito t-shirt. And two, me and boy Portland over here, we're gonna get our hair dyed. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> Video, video. Are you okay? Are you okay? Where's your beer? The guy literally punched me. He punched you? Yeah. Where? In the face. Wait. What? It's so crazy. Why did he punch you? Oh, because he threw the beer at him. You did spill it on him, man, and yeah. maybe like one or two drops, but like nothing came close, man. So I wanted to isolate the point where Jacob got punched in the face. I think it was here when I was giving this guy the fist bump. He was super cool. We ran into his stuff. But then as soon as I gave him the fist bump, he actually started cussing the other dude out. And then when I turned to the other dude, he said, puta madre way to Jacob. Careful. <laughs> Like guy, I swear the guy punched me. I'm sorry, dude. I did not see that. No, I didn't see that. On, right. Honestly, right like, I, I, I swear, like, I, I would have stood up for you if I saw that, but I did not see nah, that. Nah, don't worry that's about really it. That's really right. Holy, holy f Today's getting out of hand. But listen, listen, listen. Yeah. Like, you're, you're in good health, you're alive. Pretty much. From now on, like it's only a good experience, right? Yeah, I know. You're still in good spirits, right? Hey, 
This is all normal, huh? things happen. You get punched. <laughs> Give him a kiss. Wow. Are you alright? Apparently we're still good. This has been the worst, most disorganized episode of this life. Is, this is really making me overthink German drinking ha uh, habits. I mean, I'm having like a normal Saturday out at six o'clock. <laughs> We're having like a normal time and everyone's tripping. I don't know. Here we are drinking beer in the rain. We're trying to finish our beers before we exit to Pito and get back to real Mexico. We basically escaped to Pito all unharmed and now we're eating real, authentic Mexican cuisine. Ramen noodles. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this absolute degeneracy of a video. Oh my gosh, this was the most disorganized barrel of fun I've ever put together on this channel, but thank you very much. We're gonna enjoy this ramen. Good stuff, kudos, all right. Cheers. Cheers guys. Listen, we're gonna keep putting our right lives in risks for the sake of internet content. Because what else is there to do here in Mexico City? Thanks for tuning in to this video. Peace, y'all. Cheers.